Here's a full collection of 16 massive moments. You can also check out our collection of 36 spoiler pictures from these episodes. 1. Levi is in Max Bad Books, Levi drops a bombshell on Mackenzie by announcing that Abigail will be moving in while she continues her recovery. He explains it's the only way he can keep a close eye on her, but Mac is annoyed to have not been consulted on the decision. She's also not thrilled at the idea of having a drug addict and thief living under her roof. Can they find a way to move forward? 2. Abigail goes AWOL, Levi attempts to ease the tension by asking Abigail to make more of an effort with Mac. However, Abigail is left hurt after overhearing Mac accusing Levi of only wanting to help because he can't fix his relationship with Eden. Next morning, Levi discovers his car has gone, and Abigail is nowhere to be seen. 3. Perry receives a threatening letter, over at the share house, Dane finds a letter addressed to Perry in the mail, that looks like it's been hand-delivered. Inside is a threatening note from Perry's abusive father warning him not to testify against him in court. 4. Eden quits her job, Eden attempts to defuse the awkwardness between her and Cash and challenges him about his decision to end their relationship. He's adamant it's over between them, which prompts Eden to hand back her engagement ring. Hurt and distressed, Eden then tells Cash she can't work with him and resigns from Salt with immediate effect. 5. Abigail and Mackenzie call a truce, Levi catches up with Abigail at the beach and convinces her to have breakfast with him so they work through their problems. Mac is still against the idea of Abigail moving in, but when Molly steps in and shows her kindness, she decides to stop being so harsh on Levi's sister. Later, Levi and Mac officially ask Abigail if she'll be their housemate and she gratefully accepts. 6. Cash realizes the error of his ways, Remy is concerned to hear about Eden's resignation from Salt and pays Cash a visit to try and sort things out. John also helps Cash realize his connection to Felicity will always be there, regardless of not whether he runs Salt. Spurred on by John's words, Cash goes to Eden and tells her she can keep her job and he'll be stepping down instead. 7. Molly receives a life-changing offer. Molly moves one step closer to his dream of becoming a recognized artist when he gets a call from a gallery owner asking if they can show his work. Much to Kirby's surprise, Molly is reluctant to accept the offer. But she's determined he shouldn't turn down such an amazing opportunity. When Kirby ambushes Molly at home and urges him to go for it, he decides to be brave and give the guy from the gallery a call. 8. Cash breaks the rules. Cash is full of emotions as he receives a letter informing him that Felicity's organ donation has saved the lives of five people. Enclosed is a personal note from the recipient of Felicity's heart, which Cash feels compelled to reply to. John informs him all correspondence has to remain anonymous, but Cash may have other ideas. 9. Justin is lying to Leah, Theo worries Justin is still mad with him over the whole Claudia fiasco, but is unaware his uncle is secretly working as her driver. On one of the trips, Claudia receives a tense call from her husband, who has just lost his job. She privately admits to Justin she's buckling under the pressure of being the breadwinner. As Justin returns home, Leah questions where he's been all day, but he can't bring himself to tell her he's been driving another woman around. 10. Perry lets out his rage, with his day in court in looming, Perry announces to Tane he doesn't want to attend. Dane takes the lad for a walk and tries to reassure him that his dad can no longer hurt him. He also points out if things go well, he'll never have to see Carl again. Returning to the gym, Tane gets Perry to take his anger out on the punching bag, but is alarmed by the teen's level of aggression. 11. Xander considers his future, Xander is acting all suspicious, grilling his friends about their experiences of running their own businesses. Rose picks up on her brother's sudden interest in other people's careers and wonders what's going on. 12. Harper experiences a health scare, after making countless calls, Tane is finally able to get through to Harper, and is shocked to hear Dana's voice on the other end telling him to get to hospital. Harper is bleeding and there could be something wrong with the baby. 13. Dana warns Bree to back off. Dana is growing increasingly concerned with Bree's erratic behavior at work and refuses to allow her to monitor Harper. Despite Dana's outburst, Bree is determined to carry out her job and performs an ultrasound on Harper. Thankfully it's good news, and Harper and Tane are overjoyed to see their healthy baby moving around on the screen. 14. 
Theo rumbles Justin, the stress of lying to his loved ones is getting to Justin, and after losing his temper with Theo, he tells Claudia their arrangement has to stop. Justin's secret is rumbled when Theo spots him helping Claudia out of her car and wonders what's going on. From Theo's angle, the exchange looks highly suspicious as he questions whether to tell Leah what he's witnessed. Teen. Bree puts Remy on the spot, after Harper's ultrasound, Bree pulls Dana aside and berates her for questioning her authority. But when Dana shares her concerns with Remy, Bree asks her boyfriend whether he believes there's anything wrong with her. 16. Tane receives alarming news, Tane is on cloud 9 after hearing his unborn child's heartbeat for the first time. But the dad-to-be is brought back down to earth with a bump when Rose calls with news. The jury has found Perry's dad not guilty. Is Perry in terrible danger, and can Tane save him?